Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, just wanted to go through um, some of the options when it comes to uh, fixed libraries. Um, when you do a Google search looking for uh, fixed libraries, uh, specifically obviously in C++, uh, or maybe I should put protocol would help, we'll just show you our options. Of, uh, August, last day of August 2015. So, as you can imagine, our uh, world has changed over the last few years since we've looked at this. First, we have Quick Fix, we have Fixing, which we showcased before. Um, we've got this new one I've never looked at. I'm going to show you this one the Lib Trading and then Onyx S. Now, Onyx X, I've heard of. Um, it's very fast, but it's very expensive. It's a commercial option, so it's about 10 grand. If you can afford it, go crazy. Uh, and then that leaves us with the open source options. Now, um, the quick fix. In the past, I've been able to easily build this out. Um, there's uh, quick fix J, uh, the um, Java implementation, the, the slash n, or .NET. And then obviously the one for just in C or C++, whatever the language is. From my understanding, it's fairly slow, but you can build it no problem. This one, the faster one that we've looked at, fix it. We've had uh, Dave present. I just try to get this running, and there's no tutorials, nothing to help me get up and running. As you know, it's, to me, it's very critical to be able to do that. Um, so that leaves me with this project here called Lib Trading, which takes you to here. No, here. Now, basically, it's 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 an ultra low latency f uh, trading library for C and C++. There is a dedicated to this library. Um, funny thing is, um, it looks I'm quite surprised at this. Uh, you can download it. Um, and the important part is is uh, uh, pull this up. The important part is is always the quick start stuff to make sure you get up and running. If you don't have that, um, you're not going to go anywhere really fast. And that was my issue here in this library and fixing. So, anyways, I followed the instructions here, and it runs fine. I was able to um, basically uh, install here all this apt get. I don't really care about Python at this point at least. I'm using Ubuntu so you can use the instructions for Debian. Uh, you can do it. Install, or no problem. Make check, no problem. And then you come into your um, server and your client. So let me show you that in my in my uh, set up a, a, a server here. No, that's not the server. So this is the server. Just come under tools and then launch this fix server. Set up the protocol. Now it's listening. So all you have to do, this is all I want to do to test things, is to, 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 to get the server and the client connected. That's all I care about. Um, no problem. I got exactly what I wanted. So that's a good sign. It's a good library. Let's talk further about this library. Um, if you come under here on a quick start, I haven't gone and explored this yet, uh, but it is in C. Um, might work better because I'm looking at Redis uh, and uh, the simulated trading model. I can easily do just in C. So if I can do this in C, that's even better because now I can do Redis in C as well. I've done demos on that before. Don't need to really get into C++ a whole lot. Okay, so here's the protocol coverage. This gets kind of um, impressive. Uh, so you got all the major exchanges covered: Nasdaq, uh, NYSE, Arca, Daily, Itch, for the LSE. Um, probably the other thing that really um, somewhat. Uh, let me just find my library. Um, 
that I'm looking for here. Okay, there it is. This is it. Okay, so um, let me see if uh, Exchange Protocol. Now, this is impressive. <clears throat> it's been certified for the Moscow Exchange. Okay, IEX works there. That's a nice exchange to be on. Works on the BATS. Um, NASDAQ and uh, others. So, oh, and the LSE. So, it's getting interesting that this may be uh, a library to watch for. Um, the only thing I would worry about is the updating. Um, and it looks like they are the last few months, even the last few days. So, this might be something worth a uh, check or to monitor. Um, but so far, it looks like it's working just fine. something I might pursue. Um, and the other question is, is coming back to how maybe this may support um, interactive brokers. Just wanted to showcase this. Uh, looks like a little library, but looks like a, something to watch for fix. Program.